and welcome back to section 4, Deploying Your Model. In this section, we're going to talk about how you save your models in R. We're going to talk about saving objects or variables for other languages. We're talking about using Shiny for displaying predictions, and we'll talk about using Shiny for interacting with your model. We'll talk about this more later, but Shiny is a web interface framework for R that allows us to build small production systems for interacting with any kind of R application. In this case, it'll be machine learning. On to the first video, saving your model in R. In this video, we'll take a look at using the save RDS and read RDS function to save and read back in R objects into our program. This allows us to save a model between applications. So we can train up a model, save it to file, and then use that model in later application runs. Since we'll often be training a number of models, we'll look at how to create unique file names so that we don't overwrite our model each time we save it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. We'll begin by loading up the caret library. We'll split our data between test and train like we always do. We'll just be using the empty cars data frame for this example and most of this section as we're not doing anything too complicated with the modeling and more focused on how we use the model in production. We'll go ahead and turn the VS field, which is V or straight line engine, into a factor. And we'll be using a classification algorithm, in this case, logic boost. We've created our predictions. And if we look at a confusion matrix, we see in this case, we have about 77% accuracy. Let's say that we're satisfied with this model and we'd like to save it. This is our call to save RDS. We give it the object we're looking to, to save and a file name. We can read that back in and specify a variable name. And if we look at a summary of model and now model two, we see exact same results as we'd expect. Since you'll likely want to pass in a file name that's unique each time in case you keep iterating and improving on the model, you might want to use some code like we've included here at the bottom. We've taken the current date and time and formatted it. You'll see that it's year.month.day.hour.minute.second. That should be unique between runs. And you can create a file name with a paste function, giving a separator of the empty string. We look at the file name. We see now that it's model dash our unique date string dot rds. In that way, by using that order of the format, these dates will actually come out sorted. So if you have a number of these files in the same directory, they should sort nicely from earliest to latest. 